Hey guys, Rory here, and in today's video we're looking at the science behind your Jiu Jitsu in regards to base. Specifically today I'm going to be breaking down the terms center of gravity, stability, and balance, and how those are closely connected within Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Base is a term that we've all heard used within Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but what exactly does it mean? Our definition for base at Island Top Team is a platform from which to apply and absorb force maximally and relative to our goals. Now it's great that we have a proper definition, but if you're new to Jiu Jitsu, that still doesn't mean anything to you. What I'm going to be breaking down for you guys today is center of gravity, stability, and balance. What that first looks like physically from a standing upright position that allows us to remain upright and not fall over while we're carrying out our day-to-day -day activities. And then looking at examples of guard sweeping and guard passing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Let's first start with center of gravity. Peter, I think maybe you're in denial about this fat thing. Oh, yeah? Well, I challenge you to prove to me that I'm fat. All right, watch this. What the hell? What is this? What is this, some kind of gag? Uh, no, that's orbit. Center of gravity and the term center mass are tended to be used interchangeably. The point in which the entire weight of the object may be considered concentrated. The goal is to have weight evenly dispersed so that all sides are balanced. Now, with objects that are symmetrical and of uniform density, it's easy to find the center of gravity because it's going to be what's called the geometric center, dead center of the object, where it has equal weight all around it. With humans, it's more complicated. We're made of different densities of muscle, bone, fat, etc. And we also shape differently. If we're looking at the line of gravity, which is the force that goes right through the center of gravity or center of mass, it's easy to look at it from this point of view because we have the left and right sides. It's symmetrical. The center of gravity or center mass is located approximately right below the belly button. If you're laying flat like the person at the top of the picture, this would be the point in which your hips and legs would be proportionately balanced to your upper body. The two other terms we're going to be using when referring to center of gravity is balance an even distribution of weight enabling someone to remain upright, and stability, having the ability to react to a disturbing force by maintaining or reestablishing position. We're now going to be looking at this from a standing point of view, as well as breaking it down in the context of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Big head, like beach ball made of bone, gives you perfect balance. Yeah, right. excellent. See you tomorrow. Rest your giant head. I am Lugash. In a regular standing position, I have a post on either side of the direct line of the center of gravity that's going to be going through my body. My center of gravity is going to be in between my legs right now. I have the post on either side. I'm very stable. I'm going to be able to react to a disturbing force and maintain my positioning, or at the very least, to be able to reposition myself to be in control of my center of gravity. Now, stability is going to increase the wider I separate my legs. I have a post far on the right side, far on the left side. My center of gravity is still running down the center right down to the floor. So my platform to apply and absorb force has increased. And so I'm much more stable right now. I can react to a lot more force in the directions of my left to right. Balance. While I am still balancing right now, it's not actually a skill that I'm really thinking about too much because I have a post so far on either side. What happens when I shift my center of gravity to the edge of my ability to post or to the edge of my platform, then I'm going to have to be balancing a lot more and I'm going to be a lot more compromised. If I was standing in a regular position right now, I have a post to either side of my center of gravity. As soon as I try to remove a post, I'm naturally going to start tipping to that side because I have a post on my right side. My center of gravity is here. I have no post. makes me fall to my left. In order to stand on one leg, as we've all done, especially since we were little kids, I have to shift my center of gravity on top of one leg. So now my center of gravity is more shifted on top of my right post. And then I have to balance. And I have to try, the trick is to keep my center of gravity on top of this right leg. Balancing by keeping an equilibrium, equal weight on each side. Now, as I start to tip my center of gravity over that post, that's what's going to cause me to fall. 
That's why, just instinctually, as we're trying to balance, as I start to shift to the side, my center of gravity shifts to my right, your left, I extend my left leg out to the side, so that then I can try and shift my center of gravity back to the left. I'm trying to actively balance. The more comfortable I am with balancing in this position, obviously I'm going to be able to stay completely upright. This is the exact same reason why when we try and balance on our hands, we have a hard time because from here, being bipedal beings, we're used to learning how to crawl, then walk, and then run from a very young age. So while I am technically balancing right now, it's not something that I'm actually thinking about. It's just instinctual at this point. However, when we put ourselves in a different position, such as trying to balance on our hands, suddenly now my body doesn't understand how to control its center of gravity and how to balance it properly within its ability to base. Naturally, we end up falling over a bunch until we have developed that skill. And in the same sense within Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, because we have so many different positions, it's hard to keep track of where we're supposed to base. The main thing is understanding we have a platform from which to apply and absorb force, and we need to keep our center of gravity in the middle of that at all times so that we can be stable. How could you let this happen? You were supposed to be the night watchman. I was watching. I saw the whole thing. First it started falling over, then it fell over. Wow. So two points for increasing stability. One, a larger platform increases stability as the line of gravity must move a greater distance to fall outside of the platform. And two, a lower center of gravity increases stability as it's less likely that the line of gravity will fall outside of the platform. This is why we talk about lowering our center of gravity in mount, lowering our center of gravity in closed guard. By lowering the center of gravity, it makes it more difficult for it to fall outside of the platform that we have for base. Now we're gonna look at some examples of sweeping in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and what we're doing as the person on bottom to actively shift our opponent's center of gravity outside of their platform of base. Here I'm going to perform just a typical scissor sweep, a basic sweep that we all learn at the beginning of our Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu journey. You can see how Kevin's center of gravity slowly shifts outside of his ability to base. So whilst in a kneeling position, Kevin is in base. He has a post on either side of his body, his left and his right legs, and he's got a center of gravity running down through the center of his platform. So he has stability. As I start applying the scissor sweep motion, and denying him the ability to post with his right arm and right leg, his right knee is still technically in contact with the mat, so it's acting like a post, but it's in the wrong direction. His center of gravity is now dropping outside of that platform, and because he can't post with his right arm or right leg, he can't recompose the base. His center of gravity has now shifted outside of that ability to base, and he falls over. Within the spider guard sweep, I'm accessing levers to Kevin's shoulders to shift his center of gravity. His knees are still in contact with the ground, but now his center of gravity is falling outside of that platform of base. He can't recompose his base with his left arm because I'm controlling his sleeves, and I'm able to tilt his center of gravity and complete the sweep. And this is why we have to deny our opponent the ability to post on the side of which we're sweeping. Within single leg X guard, me being the top person, the proper way for me to base is going to be off to the side, making sure I have balanced weight into both posts. Here I have equal weight spread out into my right and left leg, and my center of gravity is roughly within the center of my platform. What a lot of people do is make this mistake. They look facing towards their opponent, and they shift their center of gravity onto their right post. So now the leg in which he's controlling with a high concentrated force by using his entire body against my one limb... I'm not going to be able to post very effectively with it, and he's going to be able to cause an external force by twisting and completing the single leg X sweep motion and shifting my center of gravity outside of the platform. The most efficient way to shift our opponent's center of gravity is to use their own momentum against themselves. We accelerate our opponent's momentum by applying force in the same direction that they are moving. So we're going to look at the single leg X guard again. First, when our opponent starts standing up, as I start to stand up, I drop my weight upwards, but also to my right. Kevin's going to accelerate that by twisting his hips to the left and continuing that force. Here, I start driving upwards at a 45 degree angle. 
Once my center of gravity starts to shift closer to its post, Kevin continues that momentum, accelerates it by performing the single leg X guard sweep. Here I'm in proper base, but as I shift to be able to grab the top of his foot and to put myself in a strong pressing position, Kevin accelerates my momentum here, performs the single leg X guard sweep. So we've looked at this from sweeping. Now we're gonna look at it from a top perspective to stop ourselves from falling over when we're passing. The thing is, <coughs> Bart really loves that belt and <coughs> Hey, something's wrong with this guy. He's not falling down. So here we're gonna look at a common mistake that I see with the knee cup pass with people that are newer to jiu-jitsu. As I start driving in with my right knee, I shift my center of gravity too much over top of my right leg. So I have my left foot in good base, but my center of gravity is sitting right on top of my right post. My center of gravity is therefore at the edge of my platform of base, and I'm gonna be pretty susceptible to being swept because it's very easy to knock the center of gravity outside of the platform. Kevin applies external force by rotating to his left, I can't absorb it, and I end up falling over. Now, when entering a proper knee cut position, I angle myself more to a 45 degree angle to my opponent. My center of gravity is naturally always gonna be closer to my right side of my platform, but I have my post set up properly at the right angle now. It's not sitting on top. I'm also able to use my right arm framing into his hip and his leg to help widen out my base a little bit further. As I start moving forward, completing the pass, I perform getting an underhook and dropping my shoulder in. So now, now my shoulder is gonna be acting as a post within my base, widening it. Now my center of gravity is very well balanced inside my platform of base. There's no chance of Kevin being able to pull me over to his left side now. And I complete the pass. Common mistake with a knee overpass is you drop that knee over stapling the leg to the mat and once again the center of gravity shifts on top of your ability to post it's sitting at the edge of the platform as he applies an external force i can no longer post and absorb to the side i tried to recompose my base with my left arm but it was too late so now when entering this position properly you can see now my platform between my two knees, as Kevin tries to move me, I have a post on either side of my center of gravity. This is gonna make me more stable. It's also gonna allow me to drive more pressure into his left leg, further extending it, making this pass much more uncomfortable for my opponent. Then, as I want to, I am able to, with control, shift my center of gravity over top of his leg to complete the pass. What increases the body stability? Increasing the size of the base and the support in the direction of an external force like we were talking about. Here we're gonna look at the over underpass. The over underpass tends to be difficult for new grapplers because we're actively trying to drive our center of gravity forward into our opponent. And if we're not in control, we end up getting swept. Here, I'm too parallel to my opponent. My center of gravity is within a very small platform of base and the force vectors are driving upwards. I don't have a lot to be able to absorb this external force that Kevin is gonna be creating. Kevin is able to twist me, and because I was so committed to that over underpass, my arms were unable to post. Another common mistake is getting the right angle, but shifting my hips far too forward. So while I have my center of gravity inside my platform, and I do have a post on either side, my center of gravity is much higher, and so as we talked about before, I'm gonna be much less stable. It's gonna be much easier to shift my center of gravity outside of its platform. My center of gravity is also very much on top of Kevin, so our hips are quite on top of each other. This is gonna make it much easier for him to apply external force and shift me over top to the other side. Now Kevin applies force to the left. I am unable to counteract that external force and that I end up getting swept. So remember to increase stability, we widen our base of support and we lower our center of gravity. Here I'm gonna make myself much longer and lower my center of gravity. Enter proper position here from my shoulder that's braced into his hip all the way to my foot. I now have a very large platform of base and my center of gravity is in much better control. Because my hips are now way off to the side of Kevin's, 
it's going to take a lot more force for him to be able to lift my weight and shift it to the other side of his body. Here I'm able to properly complete the over underpass.